What's up guys and welcome back to another well edited video that's probably not going to get anything less than 30 views because I'm not KSI or Logan Paul. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and I don't expect to be forgiven. Fuck this shit man. But enough of my life failures and let's get to the topic of today. And today guys we're going to be talking about NPCs which stands for non-playable characters there are so many type of npcs some are meant to be killed some gives you missions and some try to kill you I i'm talking to you dark souls everything in dark souls tries to kill you even chest boxes in Dark Souls tries to kill you. Like, what the fuck, man? So, if you guys read the thumbnail of the video, you guys know that today's video is going to be all about NPCs that try to kill you. In brackets, in-game enemies. And today we're going to be talking about six of them because I could only come up with six. Wow, I'm such a loser. Let's go. Number six on this list is the Molotov Men from Far Cry 3. I mean, the Molotov Men in Far Cry 3 were not like the hardest in game enemies. I mean, we had those armored men that use LMGs and flamethrowers. But, but what made the Molotov Men so annoying was the fact that every time I was in cover trying to freaking heal myself, a round of Molotov would just come from nowhere. Like, what? Like, I've been in open throughout. No Molotov, but when I go into cover, trying to heal myself, whoo, Molotov, and I'm on fire, screaming, trying to heal myself again. Seriously, that was really annoying, I'm not going to lie. Metal Gear Phantom Pain is a masterpiece, and anybody that says it's not a good game has chosen death over life. To me, it was the best open world game that I have ever played. In fact, the best game I have ever played in my lifetime. And I know most people are going to be like, ah, oh, come on, Metal Gear is not the best game. Yeah, I know. That's why I said to me, bunch of douchebag Fortnite players. I mean, the game had the best soundtrack. Of the crater, like the prophets once said, and the ashes are all cold now. No more bullets. And the embers are dead Whispers in the air Tell the tales of the brothers gone The most emotional moments that I've ever seen in a video game cutscene And it had like a game moment. The parasite below feeding off Zero's power. They came after you inside. We do. Pushing Mother Base. base. 
coming like you used to. He's kind of gay. It's not gay. Come on. He's kind of gay. Pink guy, you got it all wrong. It's not like. It's not like. I don't know. I don't know, man. He's kind of gay. But can you actually call that a gay moment? It's just that soldiers always touchy touchy feelings with their mates. So I don't know if you can call that gay or just call that, you know, soldier love. It's still gay, guys! But yeah, guess what guys? If the Kajima said that the game was not even complete, like upon how good this game was, it was not still complete. Like Oh god, I love Better Gear Phantom Pain. But but wait, guys, I think I've gone off topic because this is supposed to be a video about annoying end game enemies in video games. And it has turned to a video about Meta Gear. Let, let, let's, just, let's just get back to topic. Let's get back to topic. In Meta Gear Phantom Pain, there were a lot of annoying IGE, which stands for in game enemies, douchebags. I mean, they had tanks helicopters men in mini mecha suits and a fucking gun dam like like what, what it, it, But still, even though the Gundam in Metal Gear was really annoying, but the most annoying in-game enemy in Metal Gear Phantom Pain were still the Skulls. Every time I saw a Skull in this game, my reaction was... Ah oh, shit, here we go again. For most of you guys who have not played Metal Gear Phantom Pain, you guys should go play that game. But for most of you guys who don't know what the skulls are, the skulls are a bunch of super soldiers, zombies that look slow at first, but guess what? It turns out they are fast as fuck. I mean, these guys act like as if they ate all might air and now they have one for all in their system. The heck, man? And not only that, they can remove guns from their body, they are bullet sponges and they can throw rocks at you. Like, how am I supposed to beat this stuff? And they don't come one at a time, like seven of these super soldiers attack you at the same time. Well, it's like Hideo Kajima did not want me to complete this game. And if the male skulls are not hard enough, let me introduce you to the female skulls. I like to call them quiet, ugly ass sisters because they have the same ability as Quiet, but they are ugly as fuck. But yeah, just like Quiet, these guys use Sniper and they like two shot you with their Sniper and you have to like sneak and pass them. They are basically unkillable because you can't touch them and it's like fighting three Quiets or six Quiets at the same time. And for anybody who has played the Quiet mission, you should know how hard and frustrating that mission was. And this is just like six times the difficulty. Like just because I just wanted to rescue a old doctor, I had to face six Quiets at the same time. But six ugly Quiets. Damn, Metal Gear Phantom Pain was hard. Number 4 on this list is Cave Pokemons. And it's not like Cave Pokemons were hard or anything. It's just that what made them very frustrating was the fact that if you go into a cave in Pokemon without a repellent, well, you will just be frustrated. Normally, you are supposed to pass a cave area in like 5 to 2 minutes if you have a repellent on you, but without a repellent, you spend one hour in the cave because of you walk two steps, a Pokemon encounter. Like, what the heck is that? Like, every time I walk two steps in a cave, a Pokemon wants to fight me. Like, wh what did I do to the cave Pokemons? And every time, or at least 80% of the time, it's a Zubat. Like, how many Zubats do I want to fight? It's just, it's just freaking annoying. Number three on this list is the Tigress. Word of advice, don't fuck with the Tigress. Simple. I mean, I do not know about any of these new Monster Hunter players, but I faced the Tigress in Monster Hunter 2 Freedom Units, you know, the first game they are featured are, and I was like 13 years old. A 13 years old boy 
should not take on the tigress and eventually i won at least i actually beat the tigress i mean i stopped the game for like four years came back when i was like 17 years old and i defeated the tigress once i mean it was the hardest battle of my life but it was still epic yeah but, but yeah yeah don't fuck with the tigress number two on this list is the right jang this monster gave me nightmares so guys le let me tell you a little story of my life so yeah as i told you guys when i was 17 i defeated the tigress i mean most happiest moment of my life i thought i had finally defeated the most hardest monster in the whole of monster hunter freedom unit too but i, I was wrong then i met the raijang and then he kicked my ass so many times like this dude is so freaking fast fires lightning from his mouth this guy is, is a fucking monster from dragon ball i mean he's basically goku gorilla form but with horns yeah yeah i know they added the right gang to monster hunter world and i've been planning to play that game and when i get to the game i'm going to face the right jang again why does this word hate me so much so yeah final entry on the list every monster from dark souls so yeah thanks for watching guys please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because I i'm not ready to start talking about the hardness of dark souls i mean it's something everybody knows like if you're a true gamer you know dark souls is a game that you're going to get frustrated at so yeah thanks for watching guys thank you very much subscribe to my channel please please subscribe so bye bye